from the incidental contact, right? I rotate my thumb. Now what we're going to do is work on the wrist weave, and that's what we finish with. This isn't a um, uh, platform of operation. It's just an answer from that platform of operation, just like a takedown was. Does that make sense? So this is just if they pull this arm in or you know, try to get away. It just gives us an accessory off of that move. So from here now, my fist, I don't want to go too far out. I want to keep my fist relatively close, as close to his body as possible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to punch down and rotate my hand around. So it's kind of double motion. I actually try to make it really violent, really, is, is I'm going to push into his gut. And as I push into his gut, I'm going to punch down and then bring my wrist around. So it looks very violent as I get that because I don't want him fighting me. I'm trying to just um, dist uh, distress or distort him so that he doesn't realize what's going on. I'm not trying to be nice about this and just weave my wrist around. I want to push and punch and then drag my wrist across. Do you see that? But essentially what I'm doing is weaving my wrist around so that my wrist is in contact with my other wrist. Then I'm going to bring my elbows together. I don't want to go out. You see, it's not even doing anything. But when I bring my elbows together, that's what creates it, right? The final piece that I'll add to this is, is I am going to punch and kind of go circle, then I'm going to take my shoulders, one shoulder on this shoulder, the other shoulder on his black here. Try to sit up now. Makes it very easy to hold him down. Just like the underhook and pike, I can look around. If he jackknifes, I can see it. I can do other things. We can address that later. Right now, I just want you to see that you can see around and you can do various things to him. So he pulls that in. Here. Punch. Punch. Weave. You see that? Punch, punch, weave. And now I have that. Look, now my shoulder goes over, my other shoulder goes over, and I'm just like coiling, kind of like boxing, I'm coiling my shoulders around to make that contact on his shoulder, right? There's times where I'll take my jaw and push it in his back when he tries to sit up. It makes it painful or uncomfortable, but I just don't want him sitting up, okay? That's all I'm trying to do is control it. Keep my feet away but I have visual, I'm not looking down at him, I'm not looking away, I'm looking so I can see everybody. I really want you to keep your head up. So he pulls it in, one, punch the ground, weave your wrist over. What happens is if you don't do that and you try to do this, now he grabs my elbow, that sucks, okay? But if I punch, my wrist doesn't have to go so high. Do you see it? So here, punch the ground, Put that wrist over. Keep my elbows close to my body. Bring them in, right? If really what's causing the pain is dry, my, if they don't like the pain, rotate your wrist down. If you want to give them the pain, go for it, and then what you can do is dry them. <laughs> that sucks. So there's different ways to control that. Make sense? There are people that don't feel this pain. So I really want you to understand. You might feel it, great, but if they don't, it's not the goal. The pain is a byproduct. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I don't care about the pain. If it's there, great, because it's fun, because it's not me getting it. But what I'm looking for is the control. Can you move around freely? Can you? No, right? I have control of him. That's what I'm looking for. I have access to his back. I have access to take him down. I can do different things. So it's the control that I have, OK, not the pain. So if they don't feel the pain, don't worry about it. Who cares? If it's there. Take it, it's a byproduct. Got it? Key point here, punch the ground, weave the wrist over, elbows together. Do not grab above this archer bone. You wanna go right here. If I do this, go ahead and move around, it's not effective at all. So what I'm trying to do is make sure that I have control on that bone, that bone contact right there. Now I'm good to go. Only other thing I add to you, is if you kind of like a, ride a motorcycle, go the opposite way. If I roll this in, really hard to get out now. It sucks. But if I go here, like this, put your hand over your hand. No, no, over your hand. Nah, nah, nah. Listen, Simon says. Simon says. Okay, hand over your hand. <laughs> Push towards your belly and down towards your feet. He'll pop that out. Put it on. Right? So right here, as I just take my hand, it's not the end of the world, because you just go right into a two-on-one. Just pull it out now, and go to two-on-one. There we go. Good, time. But it's just, if, if he takes, get that thumb out of there, 
rotate this towards my body. Mm -hmm. Now that opening's not there. It's really hard. I can force this, but the opening's not necessarily there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So we're here. Punch over the top, elbows together. Put the wrist down, maintain that throttle. Yep, sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> then you can also bend him down so that now he has a hard time doing anything. That's only because my shoulder's on top of this shoulder and my other shoulder's over here. So I'm putting my weight on it like this versus being here, right? Because now he starts to headbutt and you try to hit me in the face much, right? I'm gonna have to react to that. But here, try to punch me. Yeah, that's gonna suck, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, let's go, partner up, try it. 